It's a well-known fact that Ecuador is an amazing country with amazing people. But there are probably a lot of things that you don't know about. Like for example, did you know that Ecuador has two main languages? No, seriously. The first and most commonly used language is Spanish. It is spoken around the whole country and it is also known as the main national language. But Quichua is also considered one of Ecuador's main languages, although it is only spoken by indigenous people and some people in the highlands. Pretty interesting, right? And while that may be one thing that you might not know, in today's video, we're gonna check out 10 things that you might not know about Ecuador. And as a little challenge, just to make it interesting, I want you to leave a comment down below as to how many of these things you did and how many of these things you didn't know. And since the first thing was about language, let's keep it going with accents. Did you know that in Ecuador, there are two main accents that the people use? The first of which is the accent from the highlands, which is the accent from La Sierra. This is the accent that most people in Ecuador would say is the Serrano accent. And the second accent is the accent from the coast which you would say is the Costeño accent. The reason why this might be important is because once you hear the accent, you'll be able to identify if the person is from the coast or if they're from the highlands without necessarily having to be there. And since we're on the topic of people from the coast and people from the highlands, there's actually a bit of a dispute, which I'm not sure if you could call it kind of a rivalry, between people from the coast and the highlands. Basically, it's a matter of the people from the highlands believing that they're better than the people from the coast and the people from the coast also believing that they're better than the people from the highlands. The rivalry goes so far as to have people from the coast believing that they are better looking than people from the highlands and people from the highlands calling people from the coast monkeys. It's quite a strange situation and you don't want none of that, but it's always good to know. The fourth random detail that you might not know about Ecuador is that people here by jugs of water, typically called bidones de agua, in order to have their drinking water. While it may seem uncommon if you come from a place where you can get water straight out the faucet, here people generally don't try that, so they always order a jug of water in order to drink their water. Most of the time, these jugs of water will cost one dollar, so they're pretty cheap. We actually tend to have five bidones stockpiled just in case. And while we're on the topic of liquids, the fifth thing you might not know is that people here share their cups of water, cups of beer, cups of juice, cups of any liquid actually. <laughs> this is something quite commonly done at parties where if people are drinking a cup of beer, they'll refill it and then just pass it along to the next person. And no, they don't do the waterfall method, they literally just drink from the same cup. So if you're not really into that, every time you're at a party, you might want to ask for your own cup or come prepared with a bottle of your own. Number six on the list of things you probably didn't know about Ecuador has to do with greetings. While there are people who will greet you with a handshake or with a hug, and as is Latin American tradition, even with a kiss on the cheek, most people greet using this kind of greeting. Literally, it's like pretty much a high five and a fist bump. But of course, this may vary from person to person and situation to situation. If you're really good friends with the person, it's most likely that they'll do the whole fist bump high five thing. But if it's a more professional setting, it's obviously more likely that they'll just go in for the handshake. And if the person is like your bro, then definitely a hug will be pretty normal. The seventh thing that you might not know has to do with tech specifically with how you communicate with your cell phone. Most people here use WhatsApp or WhatsApp or WhatsApp or WhatsApp as they call it here. So if you're coming for an extended visit or even if you're coming for just a short amount of time and you wanna keep in touch with people here, then I definitely recommend you download WhatsApp or WhatsApp. The eighth thing that you might not know about is actually really, really random. And it's the fact that people here, when they send messages through apps such as WhatsApp or on Facebook or even just making a post on Facebook or other social media, they don't tend to use periods. 
Like this was something that I wouldn't have noticed if I didn't have so much contact with people from the States and people from Ecuador. But it's an actual fact. A lot of the times when I'm having conversations with my friends from the States, they always end off every sentence with a period. On the other hand, whenever I'm having a conversation with a friend from here, they generally don't use periods. It's such a small thing that I probably wouldn't have noticed, but from so many interactions with friends from both places, I actually did notice it. The ninth thing that you probably didn't know about Ecuador has to do with food, and more specifically with the almuerzos, which are the lunches that they sell here. Almuerzos, which are literally lunches, are sold during lunchtime, obviously, and these lunches tend to come with three things. A soup, a main dish, and a drink. And as you might already know, the main dish typically comes with rice. But here's where the thing you might not know comes into play. And that's the fact that when you order your almuerzo, you can ask for the people who send it to you, the restaurant itself, to send it without rice. And instead of rice, you can ask them to send it with more salad. And it's the same thing if you order it while being at the actual restaurant. You can just ask them to give you more salad instead of rice. This tends to be an easier thing to do if you're a more frequent customer of the restaurant since they probably already know you and since you go constantly, they wouldn't have a problem with changing out your rice for some more salad. But even if you're not, most places won't mind as long as you ask politely. So if you're not a big fan of rice, definitely ask for more salad instead. The 10th thing that you probably didn't know about Ecuador is gonna be really useful for people who travel by bus. But it has more to do with the bathroom at the bus stations. Well, more specifically, the bus stops. While buses don't stop very frequently from one city to the next, when they do reach a specific bus stop or bus station, and if there's a bathroom at that bus station, sometimes, or the majority of times, there will be a person waiting outside of the bathroom in order to charge you to use the bathroom. The people there tend to charge about 10 cents to 25 cents and maybe a little more. If they charge 25 cents and above, it's mainly if you're gonna use the bathroom and you need toilet paper because they will give you the toilet paper to use. And as much as you might wanna avoid spending those 25 cents and up, I really don't think you wanna try wiping with your hands, if you know what I mean. But if you wanna know more about bus fares and other costs of transportation here in Ecuador, then definitely check out this video next where I talk about the cost of living in Ecuador for a month, including rent, transportation, utilities, and so much more. Consider supporting me to get exclusive perks and to help me make more content like this. Take care, and as always, ace out.